So today has uh, an extraordinary lineup of folks of, who uh, clearly you've heard of and you know, you know, big names like uh, Tim Westergren, uh, co-founder of Pandora, or Michael Roth, the CEO of Interpublic Group, Steve Ballmer, Michael Dell will be out soon. But it, it, we also have two or three companies launching today, um, a number of announcements, some amazing stories from Rovio and from the NSA, um, some interesting approaches to venture investing from Google. Um, we've got Dennis Crowley from Foursquare and Ben Horowitz, uh, noted Valley VC. And we've got a conversation with Visa and American Express about the payments world and the world of e-commerce, which they are very, very involved with, far more involved perhaps than you might think um, for what you might call incumbent companies who are now deep in, in our business, so to speak. Um, and some great discussions about policy uh, from uh, folks in the White House, uh, our friends up north in Canada, um, as well as the FTC. So much to discuss, a great day. I'm looking forward to getting it started. And to kick it off, we're honored that the mayor of San Francisco um, has stopped by. Um, and I'm very pleased to introduce and uh, give him a brief few minutes. He said he only needed 45 or 50 minutes. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but the mayor of San Francisco, Edwin Lee, is here. Please join me in welcoming him, welcoming him, him to Web2. Web Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to San Francisco. And I want to thank all of you for being here. If I may say, I've got two more weeks to say this, so let me say it very clearly. Welcome to the World Series champion, City County of San Francisco. Two more weeks. You know, it's a great testament for Web 2.0 to be here for the eighth time. And I want to welcome the summit back. It's your, your decision to bring this back uh, every year for the last eight years. And it just goes to say and prove that we are leading the world in technology. Just last month, a report was released ranking San Francisco the number one annual growth of high-tech jobs, and this growth isn't slowing at all. Last week, I welcomed Idle Games, Kiva, Pivotal Labs to their new headquarters on Howard Street in a building that leased 93,000 square feet of its tech, of its space to tech companies that plan to employ over 625 employees and people. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. According to a recent real estate uh, report, there are 40 technology companies all currently looking for 2 million square feet of office space right here in San Francisco. To put this in perspective, this is an equivalent to four pyramid, Transamerica pyramids worth of space. San Francisco has over 1,500 tech companies that employ over 27,000 employees. I'm committed to ensuring that San Francisco remains at the center of the tech industry. And that's why I've worked to pass the central market payroll tax exclusion, signed the payroll tax exclusion on stocks, and have reached out extensively to tech CEOs to understand what more we can do to help. I've also committed to the wholesale review of our tax policy to develop more equitable alternatives that do not punish job creation, the very job growth that we rely on for these industries. In addition, we're working hard to find other ways to interact with technology. Our city is the first city in the nation to pass open data legislation. San Francisco has been a leader in open government, allowing the community to create over 60 applications based upon this data. And just this summer, our Department of Technology hosted hackathons that issued and resulted in the development of 23 apps involving 500 participants and generating over 10,000 hours of civic engagement. By the way, I want to present one challenge to you. You know, we are a congested city. We have event after event, and in two years, we're going to host America's Cup, one of the largest events we've ever held in this city. And over 500,000 people will visit the city on any given day during that period of time. Well, a challenge. One of the complaints I hear the most is that people get their cars towed away when they're parked in the wrong place. And it costs them not only about three to $500 for that episode, but it leaves them with the worst taste in their mouth because they were here to celebrate, whether it was a dinner or an event, 
And so I want to challenge your applications today. Find me a solution. If we can give you the data so that there could be some handheld device that can pre-warn somebody that their car is about to be towed or they're parked in a tow-away zone in the city, we can save a lot of people from having a disappointment in their lives. I want to challenge you to that. And we'll work on that data in the next months to come out, release the data, and then you can go at it and help us resolve one of the biggest problems we have, which is parking and tow-away zones. How about that? Can you help us do it? All right. Well, by ensuring that San Francisco's business policies allow for and encourage job growth, and by staying at the forefront on ideas such as open government, I'm confident that our city will continue to be the place, the place where entrepreneurs and innovators in the technology field flock to us as a place where you want to start your business, you want to stay, and you want to grow. And I want you to know, we want you here to start to stay and to grow. Thank you very much for holding your summit here. Appreciate your presence. And keep staying here and growing here with us. Thank you very much.